hi hope you guys are doing well so let me show, show you what kind of effect we'll be doing today this sort of spotlight effect So as you can see this spotlight effect can have uh, many different kinds of application. The main application is obviously to uh, give the illusion of lighting. As you know um, in, in EV you do, uh, the emission shader doesn't give direct lighting as uh, instead uh, we have to use cycles which uh, when we use the emission shader it does give direct lighting but for EV we have to use lights we can give shader lights and also um, it also ha gives uh, us the opportunity to create stylized effects and um, it also has other applications as, as well let me show you. Uh, you can also do this sort of um, power energy effect to show um, uh, like uh, a menacing evil or something this is a uh, blue effect but we can also go with red it's up to you so uh, let's uh, get started before we get started uh, you will need a texture at least one texture so um, you uh, you need an atlas texture uh, atlas texture basically uh, it has to be applied to all of your materials as you can see the atlas side texture is applied to all of my materials uh, if you have a picture it also needs to be in the same atlas set for this to work properly okay now um, the first thing you need is uh, now uh, when you have your texture now that when you have your uh, te atlas texture um, you can actually create variations of it simply by going to Inkscape or any other image um, editing software. I just went with, with Inkscape. So let me just show you what I did uh, to create different variations for it because um, again we need two sort, sort of colors to um, show the lighting effect. So this is just my base atlas texture. I will just go ahead and um, create a layer above it. Just random name. Okay, so this is my new layer and um, I'll just create a square cube on it on this so um, let's just say I want to give it a blood moon sort of effect so I can go ahead on my layer and click over here and change the mode to either multiply or overlay I've seen these two just work uh, very well for me and um, it doesn't have to be just a blood moon or something like that you can also go with uh, sort of this bluish effect for nighttime or this yellowish effect for extreme sunlight uh, the other option is that um, let me just show it in blender so I have this base texture applied so I have this base texture applied as you can see it looks uh, sort of nighty night time now you can um, just go into the shader editor and in the texture setup you can go um, mix color and add in a yellowish color but and change the factor to like something like 0 0.02 or something slightly above but it doesn't give the um, effect like we're looking for so I recommend just going to any image editing software and uh, making a variation of the texture that actually gives a lot better results so I already have a bunch of um, texture variations created like uh, this uh, best the first is obviously normal colored either is yellow there are two variations for the night one and the blood moon one and also black and white one so let's get started creating this effect so um, first of all we'll need to just duplicate this our uh, setup now um, the second one I'm going to change into uh, let's just go with the blood moon one or maybe the normal one i guess we'll just go with the normal one for now this uh, uh, the one that's already applied is the night one so first then we'll create a mix shader plug both of these in it and then we'll add a color ramp go into the fact plug it into the factor then if you have the node wrangle add-on enabled click on control T and then you'll get uh, these nodes we only need this one and then change the it object uh, you need the mapping and texture coordinate node you can either, either use the um, 
no regular i don't to get these or just to you know go and shift and type in their names <coughs> you'll also need the gradient texture now as you can see it, uh, the by default it says linear but we don't want it linear we want it quadratic sphere and now you can see it um, it's sort of uh, around the central area but we want to be able to control it as well so we'll also need an empty to control it so shift a empty and i'll just go with sphere and then scale the sphere by mm, let's just say 100 okay and then in the uh, texture coordinate i'll just type in the empty's name in my case it's empty double zero one and you can see uh, it actually gives us this uh, gradient sort of look like uh, some um, light effect or something and now we can also control it it feels like uh, like we're moving a light or s something on it and the result is, is pretty great if you ask me now you can also change it from linear to constant and it actually gives a lot more sharp lighting effect uh, you can also um, give it a lot more uses as well like for example let's just say um, uh, our character is depressed or something I don't know and we can just change it so like our character is now depressed and because uh, the, you know, everything is like happy and go lucky around them but our character is like depressed and stuff and that's why uh, everything around him or her is uh, black and white so uh, yeah this is basically the final uh, result and um, you can also just show it if you show the blood one as you can see it's, it looks like a lot menacing so as you can see this is the final result and uh, yeah that's about it so please guys leave a like subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a comment if you want something similar or a modeling tutorial i'm into modeling these days and uh, yes so leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye